It's winter here and tis the season where many people are experiencing frizzy hair, dry hair, and even flat hair. You know, flat hat hair. It's a problem. And with this video, I'm going to share with you some solutions to these problems, but also explain why this is even happening, because there is, in fact, a scientific explanation so you know exactly how to take care. What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. If frizzy hair is the bane of your existence, then welcome to the club. I am your host and your main girl, Mel, and I am a pro hairstylist, a curl specialist, and I know exactly how frustrating dealing with your hair can be. Especially when the moment you get it right, the weather just does you so wrong. So, without further ado, here is three more reasons. I mean, there's a lot of reasons, and we've talked about them in previous videos that you can check out next. But here's three more reasons why your hair is frizzy. Winter edition. So before we dive into today's video, a quick little disclaimer and friendly reminder that frizz is 100% natural and expected. You, you can't completely get rid of your frizz. And you don't have to. Frizz is a good thing. Without frizz, there is no curl. So we accept the frizz, we love the frizz, but because we naturally have some frizz, we don't need any extra frizz that is unnecessarily caused by the three things that we're gonna be talking about in today's video. So. The first problem that you may be experiencing that is causing you frizz is changes in humidity. Now, I know that one may seem very obvious, like we all know, but part of the reason why we're having that situation is because of the change of humidity from dry to humid or even from humid wet to dry. In either scenario, your hair can become a disaster. Now here is a prime and very seasonally relevant example for you. Right now as it is winter, the air in our homes tends to be very dry. However, if you take a warm steamy shower, especially in a small washroom, the humidity in that washroom can potentially reach 100%. Now if you style and dry your hair in that humid environment and you open the door and expose yourself to the everywhere else, dry and cold, let's not forget cold, your hair is going to have a reaction. And this reaction can be explained by science. Hi, Scientific Melly here. It's cold in here, but that's besides the point. Let's get nitty gritty about humidity. Humidity is the concentration of water vapor in the air. Now, as per Mel's example, in your steamy washroom after a shower, water molecules exist in the air at a very high concentration, up to 100% humidity. Now, after your shower and styling, when you open the door, you expose yourself to a new atmosphere. And when that new atmosphere is cold, there's a few things that happen. Number one, and according to the laws of thermodynamics, the moisture and the heat from the room in your hair will diffuse into the air. Yes, not to be mistaken with your diffuser, but diffusion, diffusion, diffusion. Now this process of diffusion is occurring to reach thermal equilibrium. In other words, balance. I love that word. Now, how does this process affect the way that our hairstyle changes? Now, the higher the porosity of your hair, the more cracks there are in your cuticle, there are more entry points for this moisture. And there's also more exit points for this moisture. Now, curly hair, specifically, is especially susceptible to this type of diffusion because it naturally tends to be more porous than straight hair. Which means, when given the opportunity, high porosity hair will absorb all of the moisture it can, and this will cause your strands to absorb, expand, and stretch. Overall, changing the hair's shape and also changing the hair's feel, its texture. Now this is not you or Mother Nature's fault, it is simply physics. Did you get all that? Now in layman's terms, in case that just went right over your head, basically it's the water that's moving in and out of your hair that is causing your hair to change shape. So how do we solve this? How do we keep our style still looking fly. And well, obviously, if it's possible, try to keep your environment balanced. So if you know it's really dry outside, try to style in a place that is a little bit more dry, maybe a drier room where you didn't shower. And if it's really humid outside, then style your hair in a really humid environment and you'll notice a huge change in the way your hair reacts 
when you do go outside. If it's possible and it's not too cold outside, I recommend cracking a window open while you're taking a shower so that your environment inside can still encompass some of the outside environment. Another way you can do this is use a humidifier and dehumidifier. I don't know if there's machines that do both humidification and dehumidification, probably. There's gotta be something like that that exists, but that is definitely one way to help keep your environment consistent. Now, if you can't keep the balance and you must, you must go out into the extremes, well, you'll definitely want to be protecting your hair with these next couple solutions. But first, let's tackle the problem. So let's talk about number two, our second problem that causes frizz. The current environment that is winter. It is cold, which makes it dry. And these conditions mixed in with some wind, some jackets and some hats and scarves and gloves too. These things are all contributing to that dry, brittle, and splitting hair that you may be experiencing. And here's the thing, if it's cold, all of those things are absolutely necessary, not just to keep you warm, but also to help protect your hairs. Hair that is exposed to very dry air without protection is going to lose its moisture because of, again, thermodynamics and equilibrium, but this is why we protect it. And one great way to protect your hair when you are in the cold, very cold weather conditions, Canada, thank you, and elsewhere, but this is a direct call out to my Canadians, I see you, I am with you. Now you might not just wanna throw on any hat, but there are hats out there that are made to help protect your hair because they have a special satin or silk lining, which of course, as we know, Satin is a curl's best friend. We love things to be satin-y. And when you protect your hair from the outside, you're preventing it from getting tangled from the wind or from the dry air taking the moisture from your hair. And you can, in fact, look very cute doing these things. I actually have quite a few winter accessories that I think are really cute. Wear that hat, put on that hood, wear the gloves, just don't touch your hair wearing them. You can also do the scarf both around your neck and around your hair. And look at that, you can still look cute while staying warm and protecting your curls. So if you guys have a lot of unfunctional beanies sitting at home, you're gonna wanna put your bonnet underneath. It's a great tip to really put to use all those beanies and hats that you have sitting at home already and still protect your hair. And if you don't have a bonnet, you could also just use a silk or satin scarf, wrap it around the beanie. And now you have a DIY curl safe beanie. Next. But in order to still do all of these things successfully, we still need to be making sure that we are preventing our hair from getting so dry. It's very important to keep your hair moisturized because if you don't, you will be left with another problem that is leading to your frizz. This is our third and final problem we are going to discuss today. Now with this third problem, when we solve this one, everything's gonna come together. We will be able to get through this winter frizz. We will get this life back. We'll get energy. We'll get electricity. Electricity actually happens to be the third problem. Static electricity, to be exact. Yes, this is a problem that many people face because especially if you are a hat wearer in the winter, you have probably experienced some static electricity in action. Static electricity is a real problem that we face, especially in the winter, because, well, it's science. And that's what I'm here to help you understand. You may notice that on humid days, your hair doesn't tend to get as staticky. But yet in the winter, when the air is more dry, static is very electric. And here's why. Static electricity is when two unlike objects rub up on each other and exchange electric charges, which causes an imbalance. Bad things happen when things are out of balance. We know this. Now, for example, our hair likes to give up its electrons very easily. And when wearing a hat, the material rubs up on your hair, causing that swap of electrons. This swap will cause a buildup of electrons on your hair, and this buildup will cause your hair to repel itself like a magnet. So you're left with flyaways and frizz. Now, as I mentioned, this will happen when two unlike objects rub up on each other, which means your clothing could be the problem. Materials like polyester and nylons tend to hold static charges and therefore 
cause things to cling. Whereas materials like 100% cotton will tend to build up less static electricity. However, and materials aside, these static charge buildups can be avoided and prevented by increasing humidity. And that's because moisture makes the air more conductive. And therefore, in conclusion, to sum all this scientific stuff up, the lack of moisture in the air causes the moisture in our hair to diffuse, making our hairs equally as dry as the airs and more prone to static buildup and flyaway frizz that may be getting even worse by wearing the very materials that we use to keep ourselves warm. So by this logic, winter is corrupt and canceled. And that's why I hate it. Explain. Thanks for coming to my Mel Talk. Scientific Mel, out. And as Scientific Mel put it, the very best way to keep the static away is to keep your hair moisturized. And notice how I'm saying moisture, not hydration. There's a difference between a moisturizer and a hydrator. A moisturizer is going to be a heavier, creamier, oilier, butterier feel and it's gonna have a better sealing effect to keep the hydration, which is the water in and out of your hair. I will to remind you the method that we apply our products, which is prep style finish, and the crucial formula that keeps your hair moisturized and hydrated, protecting it from the outside weather conditions, the formula that is hair, where you apply your hydrator, your humectants, your emollients, and your occlusives. Occlusives last, the finishing step. This method, this formula will keep your hair hydrated. So there are certain products that are absolutely crucial that I do not live without in any climate. Products that have ingredients like polyquats and silicones and oils and butters. These types of products are gonna have the best effect at sealing your cuticle and keeping that moisture in. If the moisture stays in your hair, you don't have to worry about static. These products will also help your hair stay more nourished and shiny and manageable so that they don't become really tangly and matted because they're helping to seal the cuticle. And of all the products that you put on your hair, it's the last one that is gonna make the lasting difference. You can deep condition your hair all you want, but if you don't seal and finish your hair, that moisture that you put in is just going to evaporate out. So the last product that you put on your hair should always be the most occlusive and sealing product. Never ever skip that step in your routine and you will notice your problems will be solved. For these frizzy tips and for more. Again, there are many more causes of frizz, but I hope that this video has helped you tackle these three issues. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Cheers to learning more. Cheers to science, the nitty gritty, actual, factual. And hey, if you still need help and you'd like to see an updated winter styling routine, then make sure to leave me a comment below letting me know. And then while you're down there, subscribe so you can see that video coming up very soon. And until then, thank you so much for watching. This has been your main girl Mel and Scientific Mel, and we are out. Peace. I'll take the next flight to anywhere near the equator, please, uh, as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Huh. Um, I'm not alone today. There's actually a ghost in the room. There's a hair in my eye. Mm. Where was I? No, 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 I was doing really good. But there's not even lenses in here, ma'am. Buckle up, I'm going for a ride, and I'm sweating. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can see! I don't know how this stain got here. What are you talking about? I'm ready! Are you? Cause the weather outside is frightful. And the scientific snowy melly, actually. <laughs> it's cold out here. I need lyrics. However, once you take a nice warm, Steamy shower. I just felt that. Staying home is so delightful. And well, if you're Canadian, eh, it's also very cold up in here, eh? Cause when there's nowhere to go, thanks to COVID, you know what to do with that big fat butt. We go, we go, we go. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. I'm getting hungry. We're doing good. We're doing good. This is going well, right? Ha, ha, ha.
about it. <laughs> no, Amanda, I'm actually asking you. At this point, while you're editing, I need you to turn to me and say, Mel, it's coming along well. Mel, it's coming along well. What? Dinner's ready. Okay. Mame, mame, mame. Mame by Mel. Ma'am, our problem number two. Oh, that's four. No, I don't want to blow that out. 